What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. So I'm coming to you guys basically to ask a question. Um, believe it or not, I don't always have the answers and this is something I've been uh, really pulling my hair out over the last couple of days over. Um, recently I've had a game that I really enjoy. If any of you have seen my latest video, uh, you know that I really like the game Half-Life 2 Deathmatch. It's entered into beta for Steam on Linux. I uh, really like that game. Now, in order to get this game to work properly, I had to in go ahead and install the proprietary drivers for my graphics card, which happened to be, uh, which happens to be an ATI graphics card. Now, um, I've never, again, really used the proprietary drivers. I almost always went with the open source drivers because they pretty much worked and did what I needed them to do. Um, so, what I've found recently is. Uh, when I tried to do a screencast using FFmpeg in the proprietary drivers, if I'm using a distribution that uh, has a desktop environment that um, has 3D uh, enabled, such as Cinnamon, Linux Mint's Cinnamon's uh, desktop environment, GNOME Shell, or um, even Elementary OS's Pantheon environment, what will end up happening is <clears throat> FFmpeg will... Uh, record my my mouse but then the rest of the video is all black now from the research I've been uh, able to do I think this is a result directly of uh, FFmpeg not being able to capture the 3d layer um, of the desktop uh, because when I use which would make sense because when I use XFCE everything is fine I, I don't have any issues whatsoever it's only when I use desktop environments that uh, have 3D, uh, you know, 3D involved. So, uh, you know, I've done some uh, searching around. I thought this had to do with a library, libcairo. So I went ahead and tried to upgrade this particular library to uh, a new version, and uh, still same result. So for those of you out there who have maybe tried to do some screencasting and you use proprietary drivers, specifically AMD drivers. If you've run into this situation and you found a fix, I would be uh, more than grateful to know what you did. So I'm coming to you guys with a question. Uh, I haven't been able to figure this out. Would really love to because I'm, I'm kind of at a, in a position now where I want to do some more distribution reviews. I want to install them natively on my hardware as opposed to having to use VirtualBox. Um, but it really puts me in a position where I have to say not install the proprietary drivers and play anything on Steam because they really require the proprietary driver or uh, continue to do screencasts and you know um, I mean obviously the the answer would probably be to stick with something like XFCE it, with proprietary drivers so I could do them both but then I can't install any other distributions uh, and that kinda sucks so if you guys know uh, kinda what's going on when I, again when I capture a screencast it it will it'll capture just fine but when you go to view the video all it is is a black video and you can see my mouse and that is it so if any of you guys know uh, what the heck is going on there please leave a uh, comment in the video description below and it would be greatly appreciated alright guys hope you're doing well and we'll talk to you later